interesting kind of thing. It's like, it's like taking it and throwing it out the window and hoping it somehow magically gets to where it's supposed to go. But I tell you, God wants us to learn how to, how to seek Him, how to desire to learn to hear His voice in our lives and to recognize it and interact, the personal interaction that He would have with every one of us. You know, in the Old Testament, there was an arm's length relationship that most of the people had with God. Uh, you remember what happened when the uh, when we went to Mount Sinai? And God appeared in great power. All of a sudden, they saw a whole mountain on fire. They felt the ground shake. They heard the thunder rolling. And man, they were terrified. God was at least making himself known to them. Of course, he already had in Egypt. But I mean, really, really trying to impress upon them, this is God. This is somebody really awesome and powerful. You need to listen to him. You need to respect him. But the response of the people was, we're afraid of this God. Moses, you go find out what he wants. Tell us what he wants, and that'll be okay, but we don't want to get too close to him. But you know, uh, most of the time, when somebody wanted to find out something from God in the Old Testament, what did they do? Did they just, oh, God, speak? No. They went to the priest. They went to a prophet and said, inquire of the Lord for me. But you know, it's awfully easy for us to have that kind of arm's length, second hand relationship with God even today. And that's not what God wants, is it? God wants every one of us to really know Him and walk with Him and learn to recognize His, His Word when He speaks, His dealings in our lives. Turn, if you will, to, uh, to Hebrews chapter 8. Let's actually bring some scripture into this. And, uh, of course, the writer here is forever throughout comparing...